Yo, what's up guys? My name is Hacky, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the best cars for racing in GTA 5 Online. We'll look at a few different category of cars just so it's not like all supercars or all sports cars. If this video goes on to help you out, be sure to drop a like, and if you're new to the channel, go ahead and drop a sub so you never miss any more awesome videos like these. Turn on the notification bell too, and let's get straight into it. Let's start off with the most popular class, which is the supercars class, so we got the Wagner. The Wagner is such a sick car and definitely one of my favorite supercars cars in the game and it's one of the best performing supercars in races now the biggest weakness of it is acceleration but it's not even that bad so you might notice the acceleration isn't as good as some of the other supercars but it's definitely doable it really depends what type of cars you like racing with if you're someone that has to have a car with super good acceleration and its top speed is a little lower than some of the other ones this one's probably not for you it's kind of a trade-off you have to do when picking which supercar you want to use if there's a car with the best top speed in the game it's probably not going to have the best acceleration or maybe the best handling because it would be a no-brainer for everybody to pick a car that has the best stats of every category. The Wagner is a type of car that has great top speed, it's got good handling, and the trade-off with it is the acceleration which is once again it's doable, it's not the worst. It shouldn't really be a deal breaker just because it's not that bad at all. And looks wise I think it looks awesome, it looks super menacing. It's one of the more unique looking supercars in the game, I don't think there's any other supercar that looks even remarkable remotely close to it. I can't think off the top of my head which car it's based off of, but whichever car it is, it must be a pretty nice looking car. And I think a big pro with the Wagner is actually the price of it. And no, it's not going to be like 300k, but it's got a 1.5 million dollar price tag about that, which might seem a bit expensive to some people, but I think it's a great price tag compared to other supercars in the game, because most of the other best supercars performance wise, they're going to be around double that price. So you're getting amazing value for the price of it, once again, compared compared to the other supercars competing with the Wagner. That's a great car right there. Now let's move into a little bit of a less popular category. It's definitely less talked about than the Super and Sports class, and that is the F1 car class. We got the BR8 as the best performing F1 car in the game. I'm a fan of Formula 1 IRL. I'm not like super into it, but I do think it's pretty cool. And I got really hyped once I saw they added F1 cars into GTA Online. And fun fact, some of the first video games I've ever played were racing games not only formula cars racing but also like different car classes so that probably explains why i'm into it and a bit about the br8 is considered the best overall vehicle in the game in terms of lap times according to a gta car racing expert i'll call him bruffy1322 and that makes a lot of sense these f1 cars have crazy traction way better than any of the other cars and it makes sense i mean f1 cars are very low and very gripped to the ground because an f1 car is basically extremely fast and extremely stuck to the ground like in terms of traction which I think is a lot of fun racing in GTA you're gonna notice using F1 cars is a lot different than driving other cars whether it's supercars or trucks or anything like that it's just a very different functioning car F1 races in GTA feel a lot different than any other type of race in the game I find them a lot of fun and it could be pretty refreshing to just use a very differently functioning car in GTA races and have a little break from using the normal cars in the game and racing people with them. There's about 4 F1 cars in the game and out of them the best performing one is the BR8. You might notice it's not as wide as the other F1 cars, which I guess might be the reason it's a bit better than the other ones. It's more long and thin, that's what she said. It's gonna cost you a few million bucks but I do think it's worth it if you're into these types of cars and you're looking for something different than everything else in the game. Customization is also pretty cool, of course you're gonna have some really cool liveries along with it. I hope they add even more liveries in the future because I think you can have like endless liveries for these types of things. Maybe if you can choose an exact number to have on a specific livery, that'd be pretty cool. I can already imagine there would be tons of 69s. Enough about that though, let's move on to the best performing muscle car in the game. And this is a car that I've talked about before, but I haven't specifically talked about the performance of it compared to other muscle cars, just because it's good at so many things besides performance. But in this video, we'll focus on the performance of it since we're talking about racing. And that is the Buffalo STX. It's got a lot of cool features but performance wise it's the best in muscle it destroys any other muscle car in races it's got good speed for a muscle car it's got great handling acceleration isn't bad either there's so many reasons to buy the buffalo stx and performance is just one of many it absolutely dominates the muscle class so if you're going into a muscle car race 100 you gotta pick the buffalo stx let's go into the sports class now with the itali gto it's my go-to car for sports races and it does have 
have a competitor, which I'll mention after it. I don't see a stat that the GTO is extremely good at, but I just think it's a great overall sports car. The acceleration is there, the speed is there, you got the handling. It doesn't have a particular weakness to it. And then the car that's just neck and neck with the Tally GTO is the Pariah. So the Pariah is a little different than the GTO. It's got better top speed than the GTO and then less good acceleration than the GTO. So it's kind of like the Wagner where the Wagner has great top speed, but the acceleration isn't as good. And I think the GTO and the Pariah are so neck and neck with one another that it's really up to your personal preference which one you want to get. Because I feel like some people might want to have that top tier acceleration along with the speed. And then other people might want to have the best top speed in the game for sports cars, but then the acceleration is a little less good. Like I talked about earlier, it's just a trade-off you have to do. Now going back to the supercar class, I know you probably want to hear a bit more about that. The next supercar is the Krieger, which is my personal go-to supercar for races. It's just such a good overall supercar to use. It's up there along with the best supercars in the game, of course. And for me, it's the most comfortable supercar to use as well. It depends on what style of car you like racing with. The Krieger just has it all for me. And let's move on to another supercar, which is considered the best supercar for lap times, and it is the Emrys. Now, don't think you absolutely have to choose this specific supercar. I think that any one of the three supercars we've mentioned already, they're all such good supercars, and I think it's very close between them. And it would probably depend on the driver on the end of the day, how good the driver is at racing to decide who would win between them. And going into another car class that we haven't gone into yet, it is the SUVs, and the best SUV in the game for races is the Toros, basically the Lamborghini SUV. I featured the Toros in the past in my underrated car series, and for a good reason, this SUV absolutely flies. I'm pretty sure no SUV IRL could go as fast as the Toros. When approaching full speed, you're gonna notice how ridiculously fast this thing is for an SUV. I mean, you're gonna be flying through streets, and if you are going at full speed through those streets and you hit like the tiniest bump, you might go absolutely flying, and you might ask who in the world gave the Toros a Red Bull? Get it? Because Red Bull gives you wings. Yeah, this is not a paid promo. I actually did see the Toros in real life. I'll put a picture up on screen. When I went to France, I was just walking in the streets and I saw this thing in all black. It looked amazing. The specific version of it IRL is the Lamborghini Urus. And holy crap, it looks amazing both IRL and in game. And now for some honorable mentions. So another great supercar to use is the Devis D8. It's a very futuristic looking supercar. And then for the best sports classics car, we have the Turismo classic if you happen to do a sports classics race that is definitely the one to use definitely a really cool looking car and then we have the sultan rs classic for tuners races i know tuners races can sometimes be double and even triple money in rp so it's good for that and now that you know the best cars for racing in gta 5 online click the video on screen now for the best budget vehicles to buy under certain price points i hope you all enjoy that video and peace